Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the another project video. So we have been a little bit busy in working on to a fresh project and we're working now uh, with a lot of project ideas so that we can actually host a lot of end-to-end -end projects which not only just teach you the basics but actually gives you enough of the room so that you can work on your own. Just watching and doing what I'm doing is not going to teach you anything about the code or the good practices. You need to build something on your own and it's not easy to build anything on your own. So what we have decided is we'll be helping you in taking the project onto let's just say X level and then the Y and Z that is something you have to do. And that's the one of the best thing about this project. The project that I'm about to show you is built in Next.js and the entire backend is being handled by the app, right? Which is the next gen Firebase, open source Firebase, you can say. Uh, but it's really a fantastic service. We are using it. It's absolutely free and open source. And we are also using Next.js, which is pretty fantastic. A great framework of JavaScript built on top of JavaScript, React and the Next.js. Uh, but there is so much to uh, love about this entire configuration. So let me first walk you through with this. And then I'll also walk you through that at what point we'll be stopping and at what point you can take over with the required specification that, hey, build this features more and you can practice a little bit with this way. So let me show you the project first. That's the fantastic thing about it. So this is the project that we are going to work through. Uh, the project is actually IdeaSpark and this is how it looks like. That is all the designs and UIs that we are working on. Uh, for the backend part, we are using the storage, the database, the auth, everything is coming up from here. So uh, you learn a ton of things how to deal and handle with this one. Now, uh, this is how the IdeaSpark looks like. Uh, we are actually inspired here by Dribble, uh, that how a project can be showcased. So this is like, you can loosely say this is kind of a Dribble clone. Uh, but not really. We are working on our own ideas here and I'll walk you through with a couple of them. So the goal is really simple. You'll be able to see all the projects as a listing. There will be obviously a long listing. We have just two projects here. You'll be able to filter them based on either that's a front-end only project or a back-end only project or maybe a full stack project. So based on the categories, you will learn that how you can actually apply a filter. That in itself is a pretty big deal. Once I click on the all, you can click on any project and that project will load up here in this screen. This is on the development environment. That's why a little slow, but usually that's really fast. Here you can see the project category, the name, I called it one, uh, who uploaded that. So the one user uploaded that. Uh, you can like it, you can dislike it based on uh, what you really want to do. So that's totally up to you. Uh, yes, I would love to like it. Since this is my project, I will be able to edit out this project as well. And then you can see the live website link, the source code of the project. And here uh, there will be a couple of more things which I'll ask you to do as an assignment, like adding a comment section here uh, so that each project gets its own comment section. So that will be really good exercise for you to do. Uh, also, there will be more related projects. So we'll learn how we can actually display the more projects. So one project is already displayed by the user one, but if there are more projects by that user, you will be able to showcase them. So that's the basic of it. And here is the nice plus button which you pop up. So this actually pops up the screen. And here you can actually upload the thumbnail. So for example, if I go ahead and look for it, so let's just say I want to add this 43, which is prototype. And you can drag and drop your thumbnail as well. Uh, that also works nicely. Once it is there, so this is my uh, prototype project, uh, just a fictitious project. Here you can add description. Description of the project. And obviously, a description of the project prototype. And obviously you can select the categories here, front end, back end, whatever. Let's choose the front end just for the, in this case. Uh, then you can provide a URL for the hosted version of your website, theoretically. Let's just say this is page.ai and the GitHub is uh, just github.com and my original URL, which is Hitesh Chaudhary. I'll add this project. Obviously, this is in the dev server, but uh, this will actually be going up. So this is all we have done. Now we can just remove this. And again, everything is going back onto this one. Now I can check again the categories. So notice here, the categories got updated. Everything is super fast because of the Next.js. And we are using entirely in the backend the app, right? So this is a fantastic project to upskills and learn more of that. Now, apart from this, uh, there is one more assignment included with that because we haven't built the profile page. So I will be giving you some assignment. If you can build this much, obviously you can build the profile page. So there will be some assignment. Once I do a logout, 
we have a full fledged authentication system here as well. So if in the sign up you check this out that sign up is actually having the Google as well and we have the regular sign up that works and we have the Google sign up as well. And again, all of this is taken care by uh, our backend, custom backend in the app, right? So that will be fantastic one. You can click on login. There we take less information, but again, Google login works here as well. So you will learn and see how this all is being uh, getting started. Uh, this is how you can just click on this. And in case you want to like or something, come on, load this up. Little slow because it's a development environment. This is a classic issue in uh, Node.js, in the next JS that, hey, sometime it loads really really slow come on don't do this oh, probably i need to log in again there we go a little issues and hiccup we'll be obviously fixing this up so we'll be getting on to this part don't worry we'll fix all of this one so the whole idea is to give you enough of the project that you work along with me learn the concept learn the basics of how a full stack project is being designed and deployed end to end but not only spoon feed you too much, but actually give you enough of opportunity that in the same project, you can go one step beyond me. For example, we haven't worked on the profile page intentionally so that you can actually design the profile page the way you like it. So that's what we'll be doing. And also I wanted to talk more about the next years. That's exactly what we'll be doing. And I wanted to showcase in this project that it's not about all the cutting edge features that you know, or you should be working on the next years. Yes, there are server components. Uh, yes, there are a lot more things. There are uh, like server functions even that can help you to do a lot of things. But do you really need all the time those cutting edge features? That's the whole idea behind this one. Again, there can be many approaches of building this project. We happen to choose one of them. Uh, again, uh, this time we are taking a little bit of a setback approach. We won't be focusing on just, hey, precise videos and precise. We'll be hanging out, chit chat, uh, going in depth explanation and details of that for that obviously it's going to take more videos and more time for the explanation but end of the day it's more useful and more fruitful so that's why we are choosing this approach so in the next upcoming few weeks or probably few months we'll be focusing on this project we'll be able to do publish videos pretty quickly there uh, i hope you are enjoying this if you enjoy these kinds of videos do let me know in the comment section with your comments only i, I will be able to understand that should i build more such projects or do you need more concept kind of a videos only so just let me know I would love to uh, do more such videos. So, all right. So try this out before I upload the very first video and show you the approach of how we'll be handling this. Uh, obviously, we'll be building everything. Apart from styling, I'll be giving you a lot of styling as well. But anyways, uh, this will be a fantastic project. So let's go ahead and catch up in the next video, uh, starting up a full stack uh, project in the next JS. Pretty fantastic series. Let's go ahead and get started with this one.